Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x minus 2. This is equal to 9. So what is the value of x? Now we are going to solve this math problem by applying two methods. And let's start with method 1. Method 1. So in this case, we have the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x subtract 2 this is equal to 9 so in this case we can let m be equal to square root of x plus 7 and we can let n be equal to square root of x minus 2 so this implies that here m squared this is the same thing as x plus Seven. So what basically we have done here, we square on both sides so that m squared is x plus 7. And then n to the power of 2, this is the same thing as x minus 2. Now, we have that m plus n, this is equal to 9. m plus n, this is equal to 9. And then we have m squared minus n squared this is equal to x plus 7 subtract x minus 2 so this means that now this is m squared minus n squared this is equal to x plus 7 now this is minus x then minus times minus 2 this is plus 2 and this implies that m squared minus n squared, this is equal to x minus x, this simplifies, then 7 plus 2, this is 9. And we have that m squared minus n squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which can be expressed as a plus b. This is the difference of two perfect squares, so that now here we have m plus n multiplied by m minus n. This is equal to 9. We have that m plus n. This is equal to 9. Multiplied by m. Subtract n. This is equal to 9. So we can divide both signs by, ni by 9. So that now we have that m minus n. This is equal to 9 divided by 9. And this is equal to 1. Now we have m minus n is equal to 1, and that's m plus n, this is equal to 9. Now here we form a system of two ring equations here. So let's sum these two systems of ring equations, so that m plus m, this is 2m, then n plus minus n, this simplifies, which, which is 0, then 9 plus 1, this is 10. So if you divide both sides by 2, this means that m is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is 5. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let m be equal to the square root of x plus 7. Let's substitute m. This means we have 5 is equal to square root of x plus 7. To solve for x here, let's square on both sides. So that now we have 5 squared, this is 25, this is equal to, let's eliminate the square root sign here, this is x plus 7. And this means that x is equal to 25, subtract 7, and therefore x is equal to 25 minus 7, which is equal to 18. So this is the value of x by applying method 1. Let's proceed to method 2. Let's proceed to method 2. Now, in method 2, we have square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x minus 2. This is equal to 9. So, the first step to do here is to square on both sides. So that now, this is actually in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, this can be expressed as a to the power of 2, plus b to the power of 2, then plus 2 times a, b. 
applying this algebraic identity this implies that here we have the square root of x plus 7 raised to the power of 2 then plus square root of x minus 2 raised to the power of 2 then plus 2 multiplying by square root of x plus 7 multiplying by square root of x minus 2 cross the parentheses this is equal to 9 squared which is 81 now this means that we can eliminate the square root sign here so this is x plus 7 then plus let's eliminate the square root sign here so this is x minus 2 then plus 2 into the parentheses then this is the square root of x times x which is x to the power of 2 then we have x times minus 2 this is minus 2x then plus 7 times x this is 7x then we have 7 times minus 2 this is minus 14 cross the parentheses this is equal to 81 so we have x plus x this is 2x then 7 minus 2 this is plus 5 then plus 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of x squared minus 2x plus 7x this is plus 5x minus 14 cross the parentheses this is equal to 81 now let's take 2x plus 5 on the right hand side and this means we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 14 across the parentheses this is equal to 81 minus 2x then subtract 5 so here we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of x squared plus 5x minus 14 across the parentheses this is equal to 81 minus 5 this is 76 minus 2x so we can factor out 2 here so that we have 2 into the parentheses this is the square root of x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 14 this is equal to 2 into the parentheses 76 divided by 2 this is 38 minus 2x divided by 2 this is x so 2 and 2 here simplifies so that now we have the square root of x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 14 this is equal to 38 minus x to eliminate this square root sign here so let's square on both sides so that now we eliminate the square root sign and this means we have x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 14 this is equal to that 8 this is that 8 to the power of 2 then plus x to the power of 2 then minus 2 times that 8 times x so this is x to the power of 2 plus 5x minus 14 this is equal to now we have that 8 squared this is 14 44 then plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 times 38 times x this is 76 x so that now x squared here simplifies and this means that we have 5x let's take minus 76 x on the left hand side this becomes plus 76 x this is equal to 14 44 plus 14 and this means that 5x plus 76 x this is actually equal to 81 x this is equal to 14 44 plus 14 this is 14 58 now let's divide both signs by 81 and 81 this means that x is equal to 
1458 divided by 81 this is equal to 18 so applying both method 1 and method 2 gives us a value of 18 so let's check if this value of 18 satisfies the equation we have the square root of x plus 7 plus the square root of x subtract 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 9 so we have the square root of 18 plus 7 then plus the square root of 18 minus 2 this should give us a value of 9 so this means we have the square root of 18 plus 7 this is 25 then plus the square root of 18 minus 2 this is the square root of 16 this should give us a value of 9 so square root of 25 this is equal to 5 plus the square root of 16 this is 4 this should give us a value of 9 5 plus 4 this is 9 which is equal to 9 and this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this affirms that the value of x a which is equal to 18 satisfies the equation so kind of follow the steps like this video and please subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now